if we draw all three shadows, we don't, uh, we have, we do have the board space for it. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? My name is Funky Monkey, and this channel is dedicated to providing you some fresh off meta decks for you to use on a ladder so we can all break the meta. I'm previously known for making Broom Paladin during Skullmance Academy and Secret Hunter during Rise of Shadows, but today I've got a brand new spicy deck to showcase for you guys, and it's going to be a Death Rattle Shuffle Rogue. This deck really surprised me with how good it is. I took this deck to Legend with a 70% win rate and I went 14 and 6. But more importantly, I went 5 and 1 against Demon Hunters. Now this deck has a lot of cool things about it, so let's go over it. The bread and butter of this deck is obviously Death Rattles and Shuffling. So our big Death Rattles are going to be Scrapyard Colossus and Cartut Defender, and we want to go ahead and utilize these guys with an Anka to shrink them down so that way we can combo them a lot more easily with a Shadow of Death. So ideally you want to Anka on five and then after that you want to play like a one mana cost like Cartut or one mana cost Scrapyard Colossus and then for four extra mana shuffle in three more of them into your deck and then the following turn you have a massive swing turn by using Stowaway to draw two of them from your deck. Now the cool thing about Stowaway is that when you draw these cards the cards themselves draw again so you technically draw two cards and pull two things from your deck. Now most classes just simply don't have an answer for this combo and that just wins on the spot. However, against a lot of decks, sometimes we don't even have the luxury of getting to that late game. So we do have some cheaper options as well. We do have the Ticket Masters, so that way we can sometimes utilize Stowaway on Curve for a couple card draws and for a couple 3 threes. So this way it's just not always sitting in our hand waiting for that Anka Colossus Shadow of Death combo. Because our mid and late game stuff is just incredibly powerful, we got to make sure that we're just not dead by the time we get there. So we do have a very, very strong early game too. We have a couple of Feral Cats, Spy Mistress, Wand Thief, Miscreants, uh, Foxy Fraud to help this stuff even faster and even cheaper. And then we also have a copy of a Frozen Shadow Weaver in here as well. This is more of a tech card against the meta because there's a ton of weapons that just smack you in the face. There's Evolve Shaman, there's Demon Hunters, there's Warriors, there's Rogues, there's you name it. Everything just smacks you in the face these days. So this just buys you a turn to make sure that you can get ahead on your tempo so that way you're not too far behind by the time that you want to do your shadows and your stowaways type stuff. Now everything that we discussed is pretty much the ideal combo but sometimes you just don't have the time to wait for that combo. So one cool thing that you can do with Shadow of Death is you can actually use it on your opponent's minions too. So let's say your opponent has a big like Libram of Hope or even against an aggro demon hunter. I've used it on their bone tour brawlers before just to get some cheap taunts in the way and then go ahead and still weigh those on curve. And that alone can help set up some pretty good tempo swings. And we do also have a copy of the Terran Gorefiend in here too. So if we go ahead and discount some stuff with the Anka, like the Clark Tart or the Scrapyard, you can go and eat those minions and utilize those death rattles right away. And they come back as their normal original big minions. And of course, the last card I want to iterate on is going to be my favorite, the Broomstick. This card right here is a personal favorite. It's kind of what made me famous as a deck builder. And let's be real, it wouldn't be a funky deck without the broom. This card is so versatile. I'm actually debating on running even two of them in the deck, but you can use it with a Terran after you eat some stuff to break it right away. You can use it on maybe some cheap Scrapyard Colossuses or Cartet Defenders or even a Ticket Master to go ahead and utilize those death rattles right away as well. Yeah, I hope you guys love this deck and help it break the meta for you. If you guys found this intro helpful, then please leave a like down below. Now, I've got a question for you guys. I had a pretty good climb with this deck to Legend, but I'm curious, what decks have you been climbing with so far this season? Let me know down below in the comment section. I really want to hear it. Also, I do stream all my off meta decks in the deck building process live on Twitch Monday through Friday. So if you're interested in that, the link for that is going to be down below in the description so you can come and watch. But for now, let's get into the gameplay. Stay funky. All right, so we got the Anka. We got, we got a lot. We got a really good hand here. I'm just gonna keep this right here. Yo, what's up, Glade Pixie? Yeah, that is pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. So, uh, Bloody Face or Luna um, posted a big twit longer on Twitter about like how she felt about uh, you know coming out and ooh, that could be pretty scary <laughs> if they hand of a dollar. Oh gosh, hopefully they don't. Um. 
but she said that she wanted to come out right before Worlds, so that way she feels comfortable about herself uh, going into it. Um, if she feels comfortable coming out as transgender and she can just be herself, then uh, th then she'll play a lot better. So it just kind of, you know, confirms it that uh, Bloody Face is going to be a good pick for Worlds. Uh, they're just going to be performing that much better. Whoa. Whoa, hello, Taunts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But look at this hand, though. We got the Anka. We got the Scryford Colossus. If we can draw a Shadow of Death, and we can Shadow of Death a one mana um, Scryford Colossus before we stow away. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be insane. The Terran. Oh, Terran on the Scrapyard. Oh, this hand is so good. What are we doing here? Probably something like this. Freeze that. Yeah, just play for some tempo, I guess. Um, They're still going to smack me for four here, though. That's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, we just got to try killing this over like a couple turns, I think. <laughs> this stupid young dragon hawk is killing me. Oh, man. We're going to shuffle three copies of a minion into our deck. And yo, Mikey, uh, thanks for the follow, Mikey. Okay. No hand of a doll? Okay, good. Phew. I was afraid they're gonna like hand of a doll here on this dude or like Lightforge Zealot. Uh, we should be all right though. There we go, kill it off. All right, there we go, there we go. Now we're ahead. Whew, took a little while, but we're ahead now. We can go ahead and stabilize here with some of these Titanic lackeys as well. But yeah, basically, if I could draw Shadow of Death, this is gonna be an easy game. Inca, make this one mana. Then we uh, Shadow of Death, the one mana scrapyard, and we draw two of them with Stowaway. Come on, Shadow of Death. <laughs> um, I could trade both of these off. I, th I don't think I want to do that, though. Man, we get so punished by Consecration here. It's not even funny. Yeah, so let's make them have the... Uh, Let's make them have the Consecration. We're not going to re-dagger next turn, so I think I'm just chilling here. And yo, Pondering Sloth. Yo, what's up, my dude? What's up? I'm raring to go. <laughs> How you doing, Sloth? How is your weekends? Did anybody do anything exciting? Ooh, one thing I want to tell you guys. So this weekend, I actually did do pretty something uh, exciting. For the first time in a while, I've done something exciting. But I went axe throwing this weekend. I don't know if any of you guys have gone axe throwing, but it is so fun. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Let's do something like this. Yeah, we, we need some healing. We need some healing. Go ahead and just bop the divine shield off here, I suppose. And oh my gosh, yo, Slizzle! Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Welcome, everybody, uh, coming in from Slizzle stream. Welcome, welcome. We're playing some Shuffle Death Rattle Rogue in Standard. Pretty excited about this deck. Super pumped. Yeah, it was a toss up between Bloody Face and Jarla for me. I think Bloody Face is the safer pick. Yeah, yep, I think so too. But Jarla is, uh, yep. Jarla is also pretty solid. Like, like Jarla is one of those people that can surprise you for sure. All right, let's do something like this. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? I kind of want to swindle here. I guess I can swindle and evil miscreant. So let's see what uh, let's see what we get from this. Ugh, nothing really too good. I was really hoping to get a shadow of death. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. 
Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, we got a full clear. Oh, hello. Man, can I get a Shadow of Death, please? <laughs> I want the story to actually do something. Oh, man. And by the way, uh, let me give a shout out here, too. So if anybody likes wild content, Slizzle is like the go to guy. So give Slizzle a follow here if you guys like um, wild. You will you will be impressed, guaranteed. Funky axe throwing stream impending. <laughs> Maybe I should, maybe I should, that'd be kind of fun. But yeah, no, axe throwing, like, so it's my first time ever going axe throwing. And, uh, do I just tempo out a stowaway here? Oh, that's so disappointing. That is so disappointing. No, 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 I'm still gonna keep it. Still gonna keep it. Um, I don't know, maybe just punch this or something. I mean, Shadow of Death is what? Two cards and 16, one out of eight. Still not even that guaranteed. I think I just have to play with the Colossus. <laughs> All right, whatever. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, and yeah, so like when I went there, there's ever a, a bad guy coming at me. Somebody robbing my house. I don't need a gun. I just need an ax. Hiya. <laughs> Yo, Benham. What's up, Benham? I went for Luna yourself, Sloth, and I'm looking forward to seeing the games. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Luna and Jarla are probably the two most picked. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I was so close to drawing that Shadow of Death for the Colossus. Oh, why me? Why me? I mean, at this point, I think I want a Shadow of Death via Ancestral Guardian. I think that's actually better than my Wasteland Assassin. Ah, oh, son of a gun, man. Son of a gun. But I'm, I'm glad I drew it, though. So that way I actually have something to play with the Stowaway. And I do get to draw a couple cards now, too. So. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, let's just draw all of them. Sure. <laughs> okay. Oh, gross. I don't think they're gonna have lethal though. Right? They can't. Dragon scaling? Ah, okay. I, I got you, Mark. I got you. But, um. <laughs> oh, man. I see you over there. Yeah, we got another Shadow of Death. Oh, oh, dude. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's, it was just a battle cry. Shoot. Okay, well, let's play the Scrapper Colossus. If that lives, then we can Shadow of Death it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be the play. That'll be the play. I could keep this 4 4 alive. I think that actually might be worth. All right, if this scrapyard lives, dude, we're gonna end the game on the spot by doing Shadow of Death plus a stowaway. Do accident prone to try chucking axes around and go straight up and <laughs> bisect my cranium. Yeah, it is kind of terrifying though sometimes. But like once you get the hang of it, like you have a lot more control than you think. All right, we're definitely gonna Shadow of Death. Definitely gonna shadow of death here. Alright. We could still wait right now. Do we do it? Do we do it? I mean that's happening. That's happening. I'm afraid are we of consecration? Maybe a little. Maybe 
Maybe a little afraid of Consecration. I guess we could do Wand Thief as well, too. We should probably should have done that first. Maybe we would have gotten like a Hex or something. Uh, Conjurer's Calling is actually pretty sweet. Maybe on like a Card Tut? Maybe on the Stowaway? If we draw all three shadows, we don't, uh, we have, we do have the board space for it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Even if they have a leap room of justice that does not clear. <laughs> oh, man. No, so one thing that I found out too that I, I want to try, but I found out that this axe throwing place allows you to bring like beer and alcohol into this place to uh, to enjoy while you throw axes. I'm like, alcohol, throwing axes. Probably not a good mixture, but I guess they allow it. <laughs> I mean, maybe because you have to sign a waiver going into this place and like if you hurt yourself, it's not their fault. So we're like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. Drink, throw some axes, we don't care. <laughs> um, is this lethal here? 18, 19, 23, 24? Oh my gosh, are we really just too off? Are we really just too off? We could do some like conjures calling stuff. I actually like the death rattle though. I like the death rattle. I mean, how do we lose this? We, we don't, right? We just, we don't lose this at all? Um, I do want to leave one board spot though, because we do have one shadow in the deck. I guess, I don't know, something like this? I mean, yeah, we just, we just never lose, for, lose from the spot. And yo, Floop, what's up, Floop? How's everyone doing today? Oh, doing fantastic, doing fantastic. How you doing, Floop? <laughs> Funky Viking. <laughs> actually, wait, wait, wait. No, this would be a pretty solid Conjure's Calling. There's actually a pretty good Conjure's Calling here. Get rid of the lifesteal. He does get two eight, eight drops, but he might not even get any taunts from that. All right, no taunt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this deck? What is this deck? <laughs> Board of Scrapyards with the Conjures in hand. I know, dude, it doesn't get better than this. We are climbing with this deck. Let's see if we get to Legend with this deck. How cool would that be? All right, Foxy Fraud. Let's get a uh, let's get a Swindle, Miscreant, Wand Thief. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Ooh, not what you like to see. Would have been way better for YouTube if you hadn't conceded. I know, right? <laughs> Cause then I could use that screenshot for clickbait, like in the thumbnail, like six rattle gores on my board. Ugh. Never lucky. <laughs> Why has he got to ruin my fun? At least let me get like a bunch of rattle gores on my board so I can like screenshot it and clickbait. And then you can concede. Well, that actually kind of sucks, cause. I can't backstab that now. Oh my gosh, what is this hand? I've drawn four out of my six most expensive stuff in my deck. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with this? Is I guess I have to try killing this over like a couple turns? I don't know. I still need to keep this for like a miscreant. Like a top deck miscreant would be pretty sweet. Top deck swindle? Uh, hell, I'd even take a top deck wand thief? I don't know. Gotta be getting pretty desperate here, make some weird plays. Uh, I'm pretty, I, I'm just dead. Oh! 
Oh, hey, yo. Oh. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Um, what do I want to rush? I think I do the miscreant. It's kind of awkward, but I think I do it. Takes the most amount of damage off the board. And then he can't hero power down this Foxy Fraud, which then could possibly trade into here. Foxy Fraud could also take down a Bone Chewer Brawler. So I think that's worth it. All right, I just need to last one more turn. Actually, two more turns till I can Kartet. Can I last two turns? Probably not. Um, is there any taunt dragon? <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Carta in the cartas. Okay, we're not dead. We're not dead. Just no Kanye. No Kanye, please. Oh, no. Impressive. Wait, they have to run into my taunt, though. Oh! Oh, get wrecked, nerd! Oh, just punch 10 damage into my taunt. Let's go! Oh! <laughs> get wrecked by my taunt. Oh man, it feels bad when they have to push 10 damage into a taunt. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Now the other card tuts. Um, how do I want to do this here? I think actually Broom. Actually, wait, what if I punch here? Like, punch, 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 punch. That way, I'm, I'm not even dead to Kanye. Justice is mine. Right, so Kanye would be, what, four mana? And then you go five and then six. That'd be one, two, three, six, seven damage. So we're not dead to Kanye. <sighs> All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Just imagine if we topped like, like a shadow of death with two stowaways in hand. Pog champ. Hey, I got you, friend. Oh, nice. He has to punch into my car tuts. Let's go. Let's go. All right, top deck shadow of death for the win. For the instant concede. I run him in my tempo DH. Yeah, yeah. Like some some decks run it, some decks don't. So it's really tough to tell. All right, let's see what we get here. Uh, GG. Thanks for playing. <laughs> and then we have Stoway for next turn. <gasps> um, how do I kill this uh, voracious reader, though? Um, that's kind of problematic. Okay, okay. Let's go face. I mean, face damage is kind of irrelevant in this matchup, right? Okay, nice, nice. Okay, so yeah, it's a good thing that I traded. Because otherwise, yeah, he would have cleared with the Dreadlord's Bite. I figured there's too many things that could, like, ping off my card tuts. Um, Guardian Og Merchant could have pinged it off. Uh, Dreadlord's Bite could have pinged it off as well. So I wanted to make the trade while it was still alive. Okay, okay. This is still going to be kind of a close game, though. I guess if they still get a Kanye, I don't know. They're still in it. Okay. All right. Get a, get a backstab. Get a backstab. If they don't run Kanye, they're just dead. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. Um, see if we got like a Rush Lackey, Kabold Lackey. Uh, 
Because this always trades. I just punch into here. Frost Nova? Yeah, yeah. Like, there's a lot of good mage spells that's three mana or less, right? Devolving. Yes, please. Yes, please. All right, let's go for the guarantee. All right, they don't have Kanye. They could still win with Kanye, though. They have, what, five damage on board. Kanye is an extra three, so that's eight damage. Oh, gosh. So they'd have to have two damage with these three cards, then, if they do have Kanye in hand. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're looking for it. They're looking for it. That's good. That's good. They're getting desperate. Yo, Wild Scientist! What's up, Wild Scientist? What deck or what rank did I start with? I think it was like rank four. So I've been climbing quite a bit. I actually want one of these dudes to die, like on purpose. So let's go ahead and make this trade. And then kill off one of these dudes. There we go. Yeah, I actually want to kill off my own dudes now. Maybe if I get a Kabold Lackey, I'd want to ping my own dude off as well. I mean, because I just win. If I if, if they don't get Kanye, I just win. Right, because how much damage is this? This is what? 9, 13, 18, 19, 20, 21 damage? Yeah. So, like, there's no reason for me to risk it here. Like, I want to kill off my own dude, so I don't die to Kanye. The only way that I lose here is Kanye. That, that is their only out. Okay, ah, could they get there? Could they get there? Impressive. They, they could still get there if they have Kanye. All right, we got him. We got him. Here's the, here's the concede. Yes! <laughs> yes! Ayo! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Aggro Demon Hunter is supposed to be the best deck. We just crushed it. Now we're two away from Legend. Woo! Psst. Hey, yeah, you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then hit that like button down below. And while you're there, hit the big red button or click here to subscribe to catch more off-meta decks just like this. Stay funky.